So implied scope and testing are the final two of seven software engineering norms that I encourage you to be mindful of if you're an engineer onboarding to a new team. You can certainly ask about these directly, but a lot of the aspects of estimation and implied scope become second nature to engineers on the team so that even if you ask them, they might not think to mention certain things. With implied scope, let's start off by assuming that there is none and that the acceptance criteria is clear and exhaustive. If the estimates are coming in high, that's a sign that there could be some implied scope. Two areas where I see lots of implied scope include one testing criteria and two external dependencies. So with testing criteria, it often amounts to boilerplate and therefore teams may leave it out of the acceptance criteria that this story should have unit tests or maybe functional validation or passing through product owner validation, etc. With external dependencies, this might come as a bit of a surprise to you as the new engineer, you might not realize that certain feature sets have dependencies on other teams. And so that could be an explanation for some of the point variance that you see. You may also notice that external dependencies are heterogeneous, they're not created equal. So that a dependency on team A is not expected to have a long turnaround time, but a dependency on team B is expected to like be a much more cumbersome process. That's to say that these external dependency point variants might be different for different teams and different kinds of stories. And this leads over naturally to estimation. So estimation norms definitely want to keep an eye out for the implied scope. And there are a couple other things to keep an eye out for. One would be what is the epic anchor? That is the largest user story allowed inside of a sprint. There's usually a cutoff. It's usually eight or 13 points. So having a team that estimates on a one to 13 point range, you're going to get higher estimates compared to a team that estimates on a one to eight point range. So that will also help you normalize on your estimation. The other thing you want to keep an eye out for is golden stories. So what does a two point story look like on your team? You can look back through the Jira history and you'll notice certain clusters or kinds of stories in front end world, for example, creating a new component, will tend to have a certain estimate, whereas editing an existing component will tend to have a, a lower estimate. In closing, let me also note that this is an opportunity for you to potentially make a meaningful contribution early on in your onboarding experience if you notice a lack of well-defined procedures in these areas. Definitely be tactful and polite when you bring this up, maybe at a retro where it fits naturally. Clear estimation norms, playbooks and rules for interacting with external teams, and so on would be really useful.